Experience is paramount when conversing about the qualities of a man ready to take up the mantle of leadership. That was the basis of examining the repertoire of Olorogu Kenneth Bagi, the frontline PDP gubernatorial aspirant in Delta State by the PDP World Delegates and ESCOs in Udu local government area as he paid them a consultation visit at Ubogo town in the local government. Bagi came in with hundreds of his diehard followers and was warmly received into the home of Udu PDP chairman, a former leader of Udu legislative ham, Honorable David Siloko JP. Bagi, whose camp is made up of top elites and academia, spoke during the ceremony as he expressed delight at the ovation that greeted his arrival and went on to hint on his industrialization mantra and how he hopes to harness the wealth in Udu and Delta State at large after he emerges as governor come 2023. <laughs> So I plead with us that in the lots of people that are going to come and see you, that are going to come and talk to you, search your conscience. Search your conscience. Set your conscience. If you have a family, irrespective of the number, if you have children, irrespective of the number of the children, you know among those children of yours, the person who can die your death and who can lift your program, your progress, and your success ratio beyond where you will leave it. I have refused three ministerial appointments. I rejected it as I will do it. No less of your mother did come to me and said, you are an enigma. I don't know any African who have been given a ministerial appointment and rejected it. Even this Buhari government Give me a ministerial appointment. I said, no, I want to be governor of the state. I have, I have, and trust me, I have what it takes to change Delta. I have what it takes with all my sojourn, with all my schools abroad, I'm a lawyer. I have what it takes to transform Delta. We must join hands to turn around our fortunes. So what I'm expecting you people to do here today and days ahead of you, including my friend Omar, is for you people to think of what we will do in Udu that will give us food. I leave one secret to you people today, Udu. The greatest man in Udu's life, the greatest man in Udu's people's life, is a Rodinibo man. Senator Fred Brumen, who brought and did that still me, is my person from Ogilvy. People will live this life and live here. He's an Ogilvy person. So I'm going to be the second Ogilvy person that is coming here to partnership with you to turn Udu around. We will partnership with Udu people with regards to the steel and other raw materials that are available in this local government for our good, benefit and progress. All you need to do 
is to find that who has that brain, that sagacity to turn it around. I'm an industrialist. If we fell to level four, Okoa had taken Delta to level 10. So if I'm able to take the industry level and not of you from level one to 10, Delta would have settled for the better. Overwhelmed by the gracious speech of Olorogu Kenneth Bagi, Honorable Siloko, who spoke, said Bagi did not campaign in Udu as his resume speaks for itself and with his experience he can turn Delta into a business hub, a term he phrased with the word Eldorado. Say, Chief Ubabukuru, in this campaign, at least is a complete Udu, as a local government, I've told many of my delegates before now. Elections has come to a level when no person will blindfold you. Now that it's a turn, the Uruguay is good. Anyone that is close to us is the person we are going to work with. There's no need for you to stand and begin talk and talk. You are an industrialist. That we know. If you if you bring your experience to the state, I think the state would be an Eldorado. As is to pray, because God gives power. God gives power. It is not human. Uh, the governor, the woman, I mean, I'm going to go from Ubogo in Udu local government area of Delta State. My name is Akborero Henry Akbos and this is Rero TV. Thank you for watching.